Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show you how I usually create data by calling the API instead of going through the page uh, directly. So we have an application that loads to do's. We can say sign to see the page and there is nothing right now. So before we start this test, we want to create some random data. Before we create random data, we want to reset the data that we already have. I have a special endpoint for resetting the data. I have to execute the post request to the reset endpoint, and I can pass the new data. So in this case, a single call like this will send an empty to-dos list. So I always start with no to-dos. So here's this call, and if I add to-dos, right, and rerun the test, they are gone. So it's good. Now, I want to actually create random number of to-dos. It should be a small number, but gives me something to work with. Now, this is, might not be the best practice, because usually you want the test to be deterministic, so you probably want to use a fixture, but in this case, I think it's okay for showing how to do this. So first, I want to randomly get a number, and this is the way you can do it, right? You pick a number between 0 and 10, and you add 1, so you never create 0 to-dos. A tip. I usually print the to-dos to the command log so I know how many items to expect. We can print and even use a little bit of markdown to make it bold. So, for example, seven items. Now, we can call fire request seven times, or we can first create all to-dos, put them in an array, okay? And we can just use the suggestion. So, this array from is a constructor that creates an array, and we pass the length. So will be, in this case, seven undefined items. Now, the item is of no interest, but the index of an item is useful. So to create an item, we need to know what to expect there, right? This looks reasonable, right? So the only other thing that's missing is an ID. So let's say ID. So let's see how it goes. Now, we don't know what it created. So a good rule that I use is to use console table to print a list of objects. Let's open the DevTools and run the test so it's printed. So two to-dos, zero, one indices, titles are just increments, both incomplete and the ID is what we set as ID. Great. Now let's actually create an item one by one. Again, we can iterate over to-dos and for each, we need to call request post. And this is uh, a REST API, so we'll post to do's and each to do. Perfect. So we can see that we created three to do's and we called request for each one of them. And notice when we visit the page, those items are displayed. But we have to make sure that the right number is displayed. So we'll get to do items and should. The length is known, it's this random number we already have, right? Perfect. So there's a little bit of boilerplate code here, you know, like drawing the random number, you know, running this iteration, right? Then calling for each. So I usually abstract this by using slow dash method. Cypress already includes slow dash under Cypress underscore. So here's how we can simplify this. Instead of drawing the number by using floor and math random, we can use low dash random, and it should work the same way. Now, we have to iterate and create the items and post them to the server, so we can simplify it using low dash times method, just like this. So this method calls the callback function with the index this number of times. So now, if we're using sci request, it's so easy to actually take and form this item in line because the code is just so small. Okay, and we don't need any from here. Perfect. Works exactly the same way, and I think it's easier to read. And because we're repeating you know, Cypress underscore everywhere, what I like to do is to say underscore equals Cypress to deconstruct it. And now I can remove perfect.